to me, what yoga is, is living in alignment with how I'm feeling, what I'm thinking, what I'm saying and what I'm doing. And that sounds really simple to have feelings, thoughts, words, and actions in a coherent flow. If you were to take an inventory right now in your own life of where you're out of alignment, where there's an incoherence between one or multiple of those four components, you might actually be shocked. Mm. And for me, from a baseline, I truly believe that life has an inherent desire to flow. Mm. And that when it's not flowing, when things aren't easy, when there's challenge, when there's resistance, it's for me at least, that's when I have to look at myself and be like, okay, where am I out of alignment in one of those four components? And what can I do to get back into alignment? And when I am in alignment, there is this greater sense of ease and flow and joy, fulfillment. So for me, kind of the wake up moment was a contrast experience of what and what my TED talks on is I cheated on my boyfriend at the time and I was so fucking out of alignment mm. and the felt sense of being out of alignment and the heaviness of that. And I held on to it for a year and a half. And I thought I cannot go into a marriage without being in the truth with someone that I love mm. so much. Like that's just not fair to them. And so I kind of came clean and told him and, and he was amazing. It was one of the most profound uh, shaping experiences of my life. But what that then enabled me to experience was such a contrast to being out of alignment to then being in alignment mm. that I was like, oh, I'm making a commitment to myself right now. Like, this is what I'm dedicating my whole life to being in alignment. Mm. So I don't put off conversations. I I pay attention and that's sort of my, my North star.